I know you had a great story about when you were, I think, at the VA about how language can really affect the psyche. Yeah, it, it makes a lot of sense. You know, our words can hurt people. Our words can help people, whether it's healthcare related or not. And it's something that needs to be at the forefront of our minds. Uh, and in today's world, everyone's kind of ex excited or scared or they have really intense emotions related to medical diagnoses. Right. And what I saw the most at the VA was um, the concept of degenerative disc disease. You know, we had very, very young patients who were getting medically discharged from the military. And when they came back, if they still had some ongoing issues, they would get imaging done. And providers would just blanketly say like, oh, you're 34. Oh, your MRI came back with some degenerative disc disease. And then it would just be kaput, done. You know, no further direction on what that means. No further direction mm -hmm. you can do to work on that. Um, and so patients would come into my office like, yeah, I've had, you know, the gen degenerative disc disease now for five years. I'm a lost cause. And so in the back of my head, you know, I learned very quickly, you never know what that means until you look at the imaging. Because I had patients mm -hmm. who thought that they needed a wheelchair for the rest of their lives. And then we pull up their MRI and they have mild disc narrowing at one right. disc in their low back. <laughs> right. Um, and, you know, these patients, bless their hearts, it's not their fault. It's just that they... Hey. They never appropriately learned. And the teach back method is a great way where if you are a provider, whether you're a PCP, ortho, chiro, um, neuro, and you are showing a patient what their MRI or x-ray shows, at the end of it, obviously describe it. But at the very end, you could report back and say, OK, Shelly, um, let's go ahead and talk about this now. Do you feel like you have a good understanding of what degenerative disc disease is? Right. What does that mean to you? And then right. just see what they say. You know, it could be as simple as them saying, oh, it just means I have gray hair of the spine, but I can do X, Y, Z thing. Or you right. might get a patient that says, oh, it means I can't walk ever again. And there's a red flag. Like, Let's talk about this some more. Right. <laughs>